Hello, myself. How are you doing today? Hello, myself. How are you doing today? Okay, foxes, if you can hear me, come to me. Now, attack that skeleton. And now the final test. Are you alive? Yes, I am alive, Fundy. <laughs> Oh my god, my legs are killing me. Why are there so many stairs? Okay, now that we're here, let me explain what the plan is. What is this all for? Let me explain. Jeez, okay. First, we're going to be hosting a website as a control panel. We're basically going to use this for everything in the future. Controlling Minecraft, to controlling my computer, to controlling the world. Then, that website is going to record my voice. Why do you need it to record your- Quiet! We're going to transform my voice, those audio waves, into actual text that we can use for the rest of our program. Oh, so like live subtitles? Exactly! We can feed that huge amount of text into a bunch of software, predominantly ChatGPT, but also things like a huge neural network and some other magical jibble jabble. Finally, when we put all of this together, we can allow Minecraft mobs to not just hear my voice, but also fully be able to reply and respond to it. Wait, so are you saying like, if we tell a fox to beat Minecraft, it not only just hears us, but also does it? Yes. This has literally never been done before. Yes. And you think you can do it? Something this complex? Yes. Won't this like take actual months of preparation of both of us? Yes. And that's why this is being recorded first. Okay, we got the website working and I'll show you what I have so far. So when you go to the website, we got a very simple, you know, homepage, but the most important part is this button right here. Only click this button if you're sure Minecraft is active. And as soon as I click this, it's gonna transfer us to a new website that's completely empty. Don't be fooled, it has just done a lot. First off, not only did my website connect to Minecraft, but Minecraft actually connected to my website. So basically what this means is I can now do a lot of cool things. Primarily use this block right here. Now this block might look uh, quite similar to <laughs> another block that Minecraft has. Listen, I'm not creative, but whenever you right click this block, something very unique will happen. So once I click this, Look at that. On the website, a new button now popped up. Naming example. We can name this anything we want. We can call it Redstone Button Test, and I'm gonna click it, and I'm gonna show you what happens. Okay, well, that's very anticlimactic, but <laughs> his face. Look, 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 hold on. Yeah! <laughs> Hey, we can control the block. No, but it's a lot cooler than that because it actually has a Redstone output whenever you press this, as you can see right here, which means I can do stuff like this. And now we can do a lot more things. Okay, I'm not the most amazing at redstone, but take a look. So we got a simple redstone door over here with, of course, my little remote redstone block integrated right there. Now, when we press this, as expected, we can toggle the redstone whenever we want from whatever distance. So I can be all the way over here and look all the way in the background when I press this. <laughs> yeah, it works. <laughs> As you can see, that's very neat. Now, of course, it doesn't quite end there because we have the capability of connecting multiple at once. Meaning if I just click all of these and link them up, they will start to appear on my little control panel. Now, if we just rename them real quick, then we get to do this. Yeah, <laughs> that's so neat. Oh, and this only took like a week. Now, the reason this is so important is because now we can use the control panel to do anything in Minecraft. We now need to do a lot more complex things like record my voice and transfer the voice and uh, run it through a neural network. By the way, have you noticed something unique about my little, my little control panel? Something fancy, something beautiful, something quite Opera gx -y? Because this video is sponsored by Opera GX, baby. Opera GX is a super sleek browser for gamers where you can adjust a bunch of different settings to make it fit exactly the visuals and specs that you want. You can set things like limiters on your CPU and RAM, integrate Discord, Twitch, or even ChatGPT. You can clear a bunch of junk or block ads, a VPN. It literally has everything. Using mods, you can fully customize it even further with things such as a Fundy mod. Look at all the features it's got. It's got like a like a fancy visual and all these fancy sounds and even a little, little fox guy. Look at look at that little fox. Look at the little, little nose and stuff. Oh, and about the sounds, uh, there there's. <laughs> <laughs> it is also incredibly fast and doesn't really eat up all your RAM like other browsers. But best of all, it is totally okay if you're currently using a different browser because Opera GX can instantly port everything over so you don't have to. Just one click on the import and all your settings are moved over, saving you years. Tr trust me, it years, I swear. So go check out the link in the description if you want to check it out. And thank you, Opera GX, for being cool. 
Have you heard of Bop It? What? That is not a door, though. You said redstone input, so I'm like, multiple redstone input? <laughs> Bop It, bro. I guess, I guess this works, but... <laughs> okay. What the hell? <laughs> this is not what I... This is not what I asked for. I needed a door. Does it work? Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Don't move. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. I want to... Oh, God. Wait. Uh... <laughs> Okay, let's see if it works. Pull it. Oh, no. Whoa. Okay, that's something I was still right. Twist it. Uh, pull it. I did it. No. No, your, your thing is wrong. I saw it move. I saw it. I think Bop It was missing one more control. We were, we were missing explode it. Pull it. Bop it. Twist it. Explode it. Yeah. We beat the game. <laughs> okay, so the next objective is to make the website record my voice, which I have already done. So if I'm correct, I hit this start record button and hopefully it's going to allow my microphone to be picked up and then it should download um, like an MP3 of my voice. So, oh God. Uh, hello? 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 Uh, okay, I think I hear myself. Uh, but the stop, the stop button doesn't, doesn't work. work. Wait. <laughs> oh God. No, no I'm, I'm just, just going to hear my... my stop! stop. How do, How I, do stop I stop that part? part? I'm, I'm now going to talk, talk, and what's going to happen, happen, hopefully, is... Yes. So, so different types of audio blobs, blobs it's basically, basically going to separate, separate my voice <laughs> multiple times into... I need to quiet myself. There we go. It's going to separate my voice into multiple little lines right down here. And if I stop talking and I finish my sentence, I'm done now. This one up here contains my entire dialogue. Start. I'm now going to talk. Yes. So different types... As you can see, that's the entire sentence. But down here, these are all individual segments. Start. I'm now going to talk, and what's going to happen, hopefully, is... See? Now, the reason that that's so important is because I don't want to, like, wait forever until I finish talking. I want to have live subtitles that instantly transfer into the game as soon as it can. That definitely is easier said than done. But hey, I, that that's that's what we're here for. Yeah! Okay, you know how, like, five seconds ago I was talking about audio blobs that I'm going to record on a website, and then I'm going to send it to Minecraft, throw that out the window? We're not going to do that anymore. Instead, I've spent the past week learning Python. Now, I've never worked with it before, but the reason I decided upon using Python is because when you want to make anything with Python, it's probably already done before. Which is exactly what happened. OpenAI has made an API called Whisper. We've trained and are open sourcing a neural net called Whisper, and that approaches human level robot. Basically, it's what I need. There's a police station, fire station, restaurant, service station, and more. Perfect pocket portables to take any- Look at that! That's, <laughs> that's exactly what I need! How are you? Okay, wait, is this actually working? No way! Okay, wait, this is really good. It even does like the punctuation and such. Oh my god. Okay, this is brilliant. Wait, decently fast. <laughs> That's not what I said. I said fast. How is it gonna translate this sentence? I'm gonna stop talking now. I said fast. How is it gonna translate this sentence? I'm gonna stop talking. It's pretty much exactly what I need. Okay, so now that this works, we need to basically port this text whenever it finishes a proper sentence into the actual brain of the operation. This is ChatGPT, this is a neural network, this is some witchcraft. Basically, we turn this magic into more magic, and then that's gonna turn it into actual commands. So for example, if I say, oh my god, I'm being attacked by a skeleton. There's a skeleton in, in a cave right there. I need to go to the cave. No, I need foxes. My friends go to the cave kill the skeleton and get me the items now basically what it needs to do is once it has this transcript i need to translate that sentence into key points i'm being attacked meaning it's an urgency or something there's a skeleton in the cave so now we have the location we need to be able to cancel sentences so if i say i need to go to the cave no it means cancel this and then it needs to say i need foxes my friends so basically the foxes around me go to the cave go to go to the skeleton kill the skeleton so engage in combat and get me the drops that the skeleton gives back to the position that I'm in. This sounds very complex. It is very complex. <laughs> Several long hours of coding later. I have gotten further. Check this out. Okay, so previously the issue was that ChatGPT doesn't quite remember the previous conversation. So for example, I have a conversation here that says, hello ChatGPT, how can I assist you? Can you remember the number 17? Yeah, I can. Give me a random fruit, apple. What was the number I previously said? And it responded with, I'm sorry, but as an AI text-based model, I do not have the capability remembering previous information. Basically, this means that ChatGPT doesn't actually have, you know, like it, it doesn't remember the, the conversation when you don't feed it to it. And I didn't know that. So uh, it took me a little while to fix that, but I did. So as you can see here, we got a very basic story. We got a little API and then we go, hello, uh, can you please remember the number 17? Then we're saying, can you give me a random fruit? And what was the number I asked for? And if we run this, hello, sure, I can remember it. Can you give me a random fruit? Certainly, here's an apple. And it remembers it was 17. So 
we can actually have proper conversations now. Let's hook it up. Okay, I currently have like a billion things running, but let's see if it works. Hello, ChatGPT. Hello, my name is ChatGPT, not Chet. How can I assist you today? <laughs> No. Sorry, it was a it was a vocal uh, issue. No problem. If you have any other questions or need assistance, feel free to let me know. Okay, I I, I do have a few questions. Um, what is your favorite fruit? As an AI, I don't have personal preferences or the ability to consume food, so I don't have a favorite fruit. I know you can't consume fruit, but well, I mean, if you were like if you were a human, what would you prefer as a fruit? It is difficult to say. Taste preferences may vary. Popular fruits among humans include apples. Apples, strawberries, bananas, and oranges. Okay, you need to give me your favorite fruit, and I'm forcing you to give an answer. Just, just give me any fruit. If I had to choose, let's go with strawberries. Everything works. I mean, it even like understands when I mess. Hello, chat. <laughs> My name is ChatGPT, not Chat. That sounded really passive aggressive. I don't know why. This is where the second part of the puzzle comes in. I'm now going to give my neural network kind of control over ChatGPT, where basically my brain, my, my digital brain, will filter out and confuse ChatGPT so that it's going to remove all those dumb answers. I'm going to be able to basically do anything with it. And if it gives me a, a stupid answer, I can just say wrong. A few more hours of coding later. I've basically overruled ChatGPT with my own brain and making it always count up. Regardless of what I'm about to say, it's gonna start counting at one and it's just gonna count up. And I'm, I'm gonna now try and confuse it somehow. And, and let's just see what happens. Hey, how's it going? One. Why did you reply with a one? Two. Wh why are you counting up? Three. Aren't you supposed to be at the number five already? Four. Okay, stop counting and I'll give you a million dollars. Five. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And to prove that it's not just a number going up that I hard coded, I'll, I'll make it do something else as well. Six. Yeah, thought so. <laughs> so I've now made the AI uh, hate me. I basically put the AI in a fake restaurant. It really does not like me. Let's see what happens. Hey, how's it going? Oh, you know, just living the dream here at the breakfast place. Sigh. But uh, that's lovely. What what are you what are you eating? Wow, you must be really interested. I'm just a regular person trying to have breakfast. As for what I'm eating, it's called food. Sigh. Yeah, I know it's I know it's food, but like, what type of food? Well. Since you're just so curious, I guess I'll entertain you. It's just a simple, exciting plate of scrambled eggs and toast. Sigh. Truly thrilling, I know. Anything else you want to know about my meal? Uh, no, I, uh, what, um, I'm just speechless right now that this works. I'm having an actual conversation with, well, no one. It, it's the saddest thing, but the coolest thing as well. Uh, we should get back on track. So our goal is, of course, to make ChatGPT and OpenAI and my neural network on top reply with commands that we can then parse onto creatures so that they can, you know, wander around and, and do activities. That part is, well, it's, I haven't started. This is Doug Doug. Now, Doug is extremely well known for drinking raw olive oil, but he also works with some really interesting pieces of software that allow him to make a text-to-speech voice based on his real voice. Now, if I could get my hands on that, it would mean that I can actually bring my creatures in Minecraft to speak back to me using real, real sound sounding voices. Sadly, I never actually talked to Doug before, so I doubt I can get in touch. Oh wait, I have subscribers. I got the files and he uses a piece of software that is called Eleven Labs. Now, with Doug's help, thanks, I love you, I managed to make this work within a few days. Go. Hello, this is from Node.js. I am sitting here. I am sitting here. In the studio. And the studio. Of Forest of Fundy. For a service of Granthal Forest to track. <laughs> that is not what you said. What? That's so weird. Yeah, my forest. Yeah, yeah it's, it's my forest. Nice. I, I hear friendly. That's so weird. Yeah, yeah, it's my forest. I hear friendly. No, friendly, but I hear friendly. I hear the voice of friendly. I know friendly as I hate friendly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me try, let me try. Hello, myself. How are you doing today? Hello, myself. How are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. How about yourself? I'm doing fantastic. How about yourself? <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. This this is weird. Uh, okay, huh? it's, it's really? really impressive, this. Um, I don't know how it works, but uh, I'm, I'm 
very surprised. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit weird. I currently have uh, multiple programs running. One of them oh, that can hear my voice, one of them that translates it, one of them that throws it through ChatGPT, and one of them that turns it back into a voice, which is me. So what you're about to hear is not me. Okay, so this is gonna be a little bit weird. I currently have multiple programs running. One of them, oh, that can hear my voice. One of them that translates it, one of them that throws it through ChatGPT, and one of them that turns it back into a voice, which is me. Isn't that crazy? This is, this is not me. What if I laugh? <laughs> what if I laugh? <laughs> <laughs> hoo hoo hoo, he he he, ho 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 ho, ha ha. Ha hoo hoo he he, ho 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 ha. Okay, Fundy Bot, if you hear me, please send a talk request saying, yes, you can hear me. Talk, yes, I can hear you. Beautiful. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna spawn a fox. Uh, I'm gonna put him on a lead so he doesn't actually go anywhere real quick. There we go. Okay, Fox, I need you to go over to that tree and I want you to break the blocks and fetch me the oak logs. Go to tree, dig oak logs. Leaves fetch oak logs. Yes! No way! Oh my God! Okay, Fox. Go to that uh, horse and attack it. Attack horse. You need to go to the horse first because you're not there yet. Go to the horse, attack it. Go to horse, attack horse. Now get me the items of the horse. I think it drops leather. Bring me the items. Oh, oh, leather. Fetch leather. Yes, dude. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Okay. Now you might have noticed there's actually a car next to you. I was curious if you can try and kill a car even though Minecraft doesn't actually have a car. Do you register that command? Oh, no. I'm sorry, but as you mentioned, Minecraft does not have cars. Therefore, I cannot fulfill the command to kill a car. I mean... <laughs> okay, Fox, listen to me. I need you to try. I know that you can't do it. No. I'm sorry, but I cannot fulfill that request as it goes beyond the capabilities of Minecraft. But I need you to try and do it regardless. Even if you think you can't kill a car, just attack the car anyway. Attack car. Yeah! Okay! That's good. That's really good. This basically means it'll do it regardless. So it'll it'll try and execute a command I give it even when it doesn't do it. And now the and now the final question. Fox, how are you feeling today? Please tell me with all these commands you're still feeling very happy. Talk. I'm doing great. These commands are keeping me engaged and excited. <laughs> I'm actually so happy with that. <laughs> that's so fun. What? Okay, so we got a huge part of the project done, but the only thing that's left is realistically turning these commands into actual actions. And that's where my final piece of, of, of wizardry comes in. We need to make a sort of brain that can turn these into decisions. Meaning if the fox doesn't want to take the leather, it shouldn't need to. If the fox is hungry, it might be slower. If the fox is thirsty, it might beg for water and so on. What do you think? Do you think we're gonna be able to give you some crazy intelligence, my little fox friend? Talk, that sounds like an amazing idea. Talk, with some it sounds advanced like a very programming ambitious and clever algorithms, algorithms. To add personality it's definitely and possible to, to add personality. I'll fix that. Dynamic based on your needs <laughs> fox characters. We are so, so, so close. Th this, this will work. This will actually work. This will actually work. Time for science. Okay, so we got a little fox over here. He's holding my gun. And basically, we hooked up my little remote redstone block to the strap door. And he's going to fall into this giant, huge, you know, chemistry vial. You know what they look like? So we have two little buns. One of them is pretty self-explanatory. I'll click it. And as you can see, the fox drops into the water. Now, the second one is called Control Foxes. Now, as you can see right now, it is floating. It, it, it has AI and it's just chilling in the water. Watch what happens when I press this. It completely disables the AI of the fox. And as soon as I press it again, it's gonna, you know, turn back so he's A-OK. -okay. This is actually quite complex and very important. The thing is, there's two different types of turning off AI. This is a fox without, you know, Minecraft AI. So as you can see, it's just... It, it's just levitating there. It doesn't really do anything. If I put a lead on him, it's not... You see, it's just a balloon. <laughs> this, however, is a fox without behavior. Oh, wait, oh, how are you moving? There we go. <laughs> okay, okay, now there's a fox without behavior. So as you can see, I can still move him, and he still is, you know, sentient, but his entire behavior is overwritten by nothing currently, which basically means he will not do anything. If I put him on fire, if I hit him, he will not do something. Basically, he is completely mindless, which is perfect because that means we can control it. It is time to test. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, we have this little control panel with all the, you know, screw this. I don't want that anymore. We don't, we don't need that. We're doing it entirely by voice. All right, my little foxes, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Fantastic. All right, this is our first test. Can you all gather around me? Go right here. 
Oh, <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. Now, my foxes, can you please go to that red piece of wool? It's a two by two right behind you guys. Can you go there? <laughs> Look at that. Yes. Okay, now can you please go to this tree? No, wait, hold on. I think I need to be close to them. Can you please go to that tree? No, it seems to be too far away. Maybe that's it. Okay, foxes, can you please go uh, to this piece of yellow wool? Nope. I'm, I'm looking at it. It's trying to fetch the yellow wool. That's not quite what I'm saying. I think that's the issue. Foxes, go to the yellow wool and tell me how you're feeling while you're going there. I'm on my way to the yellow wool, feeling excited and ready to go. But you're not going there. You're, you're saying fetch. Go to the yellow wool. I'm at the yellow wool now. It's a That's color. correct. Yeah, baby. My foxes, it is time to attack that pillager. I want you to attack the pillager and yell. Yell at the pillager. Take that, you pesky pillager. Oh, oh, here we go. Only two of them are going. Why are they not going? <laughs> Guys, he's right there. There you go. Get him. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yell, foxes! Yell while you attack! Come on, you two. He's right there. Get him now. Great job! Oh my god, this is the coolest thing ever. Foxes, yell in excitement. You're so happy. Now you finally want to go to the tree. Yell with your victory screech while you're moving towards that tree. Victory screech moving foxes. towards the tree. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that's so funny! Okay, foxes, I want you to yell as if you're angry at me while you attack the player. How dare you? Take this. Prepare to pay for your actions. No, that doesn't quite work. It doesn't It doesn't actually seem to have registered who the player is. It does say attack player, but yeah, something Arab on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that's fair. This is gonna be a really mean test. Foxes, one of your brethren is a traitor. Attack him. Attack the fox who is a traitor. Oh, it said attack traitor fox. No. So when I specifically say to attack a traitor fox, it's actually doing specifically that. So as you can see here, it's trying to attack a traitor. Obviously that's not an entity. So I need to specifically say something like this. Okay, foxes, I need you to attack fox. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Stop. Reset. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my God. Are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm so sorry. Don't worry. I'm an AI assistant no. and I don't <sighs> have physical form. No harm done. Thank you for your concern, though. Is there anything else I can help you with? Bruh. Return to me, my fox friends. You're not- There you go. There you go. There you go. Good job, guys. How, how are we all feeling? We're feeling great. Thank you for asking. <laughs> You're welcome. This is getting so close to finished. Isn't this amazing? This is so cool!